Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, cold outside, January 3rd, and I figured let's get cracking on some product reviews from uh, 2022. And I'm gonna start today with the Climb Edge goggles. Um, these goggles I purchased to be used with my Climb Cryos Pro, Cryos Pro helmet, still not sure on the enunciation, but yeah, I wanted to just kind of go over these goggles with you guys and, and tell you how I feel about them. Specifically for this helmet, I did purchase the snow version. I did want um, a little bit better of a seal. Often because of my job, I'm stuck riding in the cold. I did buy these, or I got this pair as a gift. I think they were around 120. That didn't come with this lens. It came with a, uh, a yellowish smoked lens. And the reason I did that is because I did want both lenses, so I figured I might as well just get these ones. They were a lot cheaper on Amazon. The lens they came with was this, okay, so it's like a yellow, clearish yellow lens, which was also fine. So I bought this mirrored lens. It looks a lot cooler. It's great for the sun. Um, I went out with the clear lens mistakenly the other day, and it was brutal not having any kind of sunglasses going on or anything like that. Again, these are the Edge. They have a really quick disconnect for the... For the lens itself, slide this little piece up and they just come right out, which is really cool. If you're switching lenses often, just make sure that's seated and slide that thing back and you're done. Well, let's talk about the most important part here is basically the way they fit into the helmet. Now, I took my climb helmet and I took everything off the helmet so you guys can get the best view. Uh, I will put everything on and put them on again so you can see how they fit. Okay, so I got my helmet on. I threw the microphone in here. Hopefully it's not too distorted. Uh, we'll find that out, I guess, in editing. But um, so here's the helmet with all the accessories off of it. And we're going to throw the goggles on and see how it fits within here. Now the first thing I did, because it didn't, definitely did not fit, with, was taking the nose guard out it just pops off very simply so I'm gonna go ahead and put the top part in first push it in nice and tight there you go so you can see there's a bit of a gap here now that's probably my fault because I did buy the snow version and the snow version has a lot more of a cushion up top here so it's it's not a huge deal. I still feel comfortable with this on. I still feel like it fits in the helmet good. Um, it I would say if I had like to be really picky, it is pushing down on my nose a little bit more because I think I'm 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 losing a little bit of room here. So if you can see, watch this. That's probably where they would sit normally if that extra cushion wasn't there. Now I can go ahead and trim that if I want to with a really sharp blade, but it really doesn't bother me much. I kind of like the extra seal. Um, I think one of the main reasons with for goggles for me, um, now when I ride with a group on summer days, try summer days, uh, your visor, especially on this helmet, does not block out the dust. And it's quite often you have dust in your eyes to the point where you're blinking a lot or you get you know watered up or whatnot. So this goggle set is going to block that out completely, which is awesome. Also, you're not really fogging yourself up if you're breathing heavy, which I also do quite a bit. So yeah, I mean, if you wanna go this route and you have this helmet, here you go. The edge fits perfect. I think it, it works good. Let's get all the extra accessories on, the, even the lens, and I wanna show you how that fits. We got the windscreen and the visor on here. I like to put the top in first, push up. Bring my strap all the way back, okay. So there you go. There's our full setup. Um, I even noticed that you could pull this down to there. <laughs> I don't know why you would ever do that, but if you needed to, you could. Um, yeah, so it fits great. Uh, I love them. I think they look really good. With the helmet, they don't look wonky. A lot of helmets I've seen, they look really wonky. Uh, the field of vision, the field of view is really good. I feel like I don't even have goggles on. Um, I've used goggles for snowboarding, BMXing, and I can definitely feel like these have come a long way. Yeah, get a closer look up here. You can see there's some space here, which is great. Gives you some breathing air. Um, when I wear these with the climb mask, 
the balaclava it actually i was out riding the other day in like 40 degrees with this setup i was just kind of testing to see what i am working with <laughs> and they they work good so yeah i'm happy with it cool so now you guys got a quick look at the goggles i just want to show you a couple features here we have the nose piece again super simple it just kind of you have two little notches for the ends and then it, it has a little magnet and it just clips right in um with this helmet it doesn't work so i don't know maybe for like a more of an mx style helmet it would be better they give you this goggle case it does have a separate slot in here for an, an extra lens when you purchase a lens or at least the lens that i purchased which was the mirrored gold one you just saw they actually give you this nice case which is like i really like this so when i'm like doing a bigger trip and i have my extra lens i don't got to worry about it in my bag i can kind of put it in there it's pretty stiff um and it has a nice little microfiber felt type cloth on the inside with a recessed part for the goggles so that doesn't just fall right out it looks good so that's that has a little strap here and there's your goggle your lens case uh, it comes in a really nice box i'm a box guy I keep all my boxes <laughs> now i only have a couple weekends of riding with them obviously in the summer it, things may change uh, as far as fitment with the helmet goes I, this is what i found and it works so you know if you're looking at buying a pair of the climb goggles because you have a climb helmet and if you like to stay brand loyal like i do it does work the edge does work the snow does work here's the inside nice cushion a lot of uh like here i'm pretty sure the regular pair is a little less cushion there um, I don't know if it doesn't go up as much or if it doesn't go out as much, but uh, these have do have quite a bit and they are very comfortable. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope I was able to help uh, anybody trying to buy these goggles for their helmet for the Cryos Pro. Again, everything works good. So if you have any questions about the, the goggles or the helmet or the way I have things set up, please comment below. If you did purchase these goggles for another helmet or other goggles for the Cryos Pro, please comment uh, below and maybe we can help other people that have kind of like combination questions as far as fitment and all that goes. All right, guys, well, uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, happy New Year, happy holidays, all that good stuff. I'll be seeing you shortly. We've got a couple more reviews I want to put out about some products I used through 2022. And yeah, all right, have a good one.